Okay, so we're going to take a look at this part here and the capabilities of Esprit's new machine awareness and its integrated simulation engine and how that will benefit you as the user. So the last time that we did something, we had a single part and we went to a three-sided uh, pyramid fixture to put that together and uh, see what happened there. So this time we're gonna go directly to a horizontal machine. So you can see there's some facing, some side milling, some pocketing, uh, slotting, drilling, indexing, etc. So let's go ahead and get started with editing the machine. So inside of Esprit you have the Tome tab with the, with the machine setup area. And here we have, let's go ahead and turn on the full machine. We've got a 5-axis DMG DMU50, and we've got some uh, Lang, we've got a custom uh, fabricated base plate, and then the Lang base plate, and then a riser, a uh, macro grip vise, and then the workpiece sitting on top of that. So the first thing that I want to do is I'm going to go in here and pick a horizontal machine. I'm just going to pick this NHX. So we bring in the uh, horizontal machine and we see that the table, because a horizontal machine, the Z is pointed toward the spindle, the, all the fixturing is, is uh, you know, obviously indexed at 90 degrees there. And uh, we want to kind of move this out of the way just for this. You don't have to do this, but uh, just for the video, I'm going to move this out of the way just so that uh, we have an unobstructed view of the machine table itself. So here we have the original uh, stack up, which is here, and then we have our machine. So I'm gonna highlight the machine and say, let's go and, and select a fixture. And under fixtures, I'm gonna pick a, a tombstone under uh, Tombstone City here. Let's grab uh, something like this. So we have a tombstone now and um, yeah, you might be thinking that I would just bring this back to here, but uh, we're going to do a, an entirely different setup. So I'm going to say OK, and the tombstone is listed here. So I'm going to make sure that's highlighted and go to fixture. And then I'm going to go back to, you know, let's go back to the Lang and the quick point. And let's come here. And I don't know, this one, let's look at this one here. This one looks pretty good. So we bring this one in, and I see from the default position on where it's located, we've got the four different choices here, and this is for the different sides. So I'm going to leave it on side one, but I'm going to shift this up in Y. You can see my Y axis is, uh, is displayed there. So I'm going to say uh, those are probably 50 millimeter spacings, and just shift that up a little bit and say OK. And now on top of this one, I'm going to say let's load a new fixture. And here we'll pick a riser. So let's pick this one. So this one, uh, OK, so this looks a little bit big. Let's look for maybe something that's not as high. This one looks pretty good. So we have a riser now. And now what I want to do is just go ahead and grab this vice and I'm gonna grab this with everything on top of it is gonna go along for the ride I'm just gonna right click and say cut and then on top of this new riser I'm gonna say paste and now with this original stack up here these three items I'm just gonna click on this one and say delete and now it's gone but looking at this I had some holes on the side of the part so I need to rotate this whole thing so no big deal you can edit all this stuff so do I want to rotate that base plate? No, I want to rotate, I think, this one. So if I just double click that, we've got translational uh, values here for X, Y, and Z, and then rotational. So I'm just going to put in 90 degrees around Z, and you'll see that it fits a little bit better on there. I'm going to say OK. And now we have basically, you know, I'm going to go ahead and close that vise so we can see it. It's sitting on there really nicely and looks like I've got room down here for another one. What I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna highlight this first one in the stack up, right click on that and say copy. And when I do that, I can right click on the actual tombstone and paste on side two, three, and four. And when I say apply, you'll see 
that my fixture stack up as well as my workpiece is replicated on those three additional sides. Now, I can be done here basically, or, and, and you can see here in the operation list, we still only have one face operation, one rough on the outside of the profile, one pocketing, one eight millimeter drilling operation, some counter bores, a slot, and then finishing the pocket. So we see only one program listed still for one part. Uh, but what I'm going to do is on this first one, I'm going to right click and I'm going to say copy and I'm going to basically paste it on top of itself on FA1, side one. I'm going to say apply. Now we don't see it because it's right on top of uh, the original. So we have this one here and we have this one here and nothing is really changing because they're both right on top of each other. But if I uh, double click this, I can now uh, this is at 50. I'm going to try, uh, let's say, minus 250. And it looks like that's a bit low. We're going to go and change that to 200. And actually, that looks pretty good. So looking at that, that looks pretty symmetrical, actually. So I'm going to keep that. I'm going to say OK. And we're going to right click on this. And now I can say Copy. And I'm going to go back to the fixture. And I'm going to say Paste to side 2, 3, and 4, what we did before. And we're going to replicate that lower setup around all of the different uh, sides as well. And you can see here that, you know, they're all clamped and looking good. So I'm going to say OK. And when I do that, you'll see in the list, in the program list, uh, you know, we still only have one part in the list. So there's still only one facing operation, one roughing on the outside, one pocketing, you know, one pocket finish slot. You'll see these are not even in the order that uh, I program them in a weird order. Uh, but in the uh, program view, you see that they're all joined together for all of the parts with linking in between all of them. And under the home tab, you have this optimized program as well. So I could even, you know, we have a lot of operations here. If I hit optimize program, Espria is going to try and filter through one more time and try to make sure that everything is looking good uh, so that when I, uh, you know, run this program on the machine, all that linking is going to be optimized. So let's go ahead and take a look at how this looks on the machine. So we're going to hit play. So we can see that when the simulation starts, we've got, let me speed this up a little bit now. So we've got the facing operations being executed on both parts on the same side. And then you'll see that it does the outside. So additionally, when it does its tool change, it, it doesn't change the index of the table either. So it knows to start with the two work pieces that were on this face because this was the face that the prior operation stopped on. So here we have uh, the pocketing operation, and this is, a, you know, this is a profit milling operation. So we see that it is, actually it's almost done with the second one. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, skip through this when it is finished with that. But we see that those two are done, and then it's going to go to the next side. So I'm going to say stop here. I'm going to scroll down a little bit to maybe this last link move. So when we start here, I'm going to slow this down. So we come out, do the tool change, and then we're going to do our uh, drilling on the two holes on each side of each part. And then we come in, we do the uh, finishing of the pockets themselves. Let me speed that back up. So we do those two. We're going to do the index, do those two, index, two and then index, two and then index. And then we'll slow it down. Now we do, um, now we have two slot operations on the same face, but then it's going to take the same tool and it's going to hopefully, yep, do these, uh, these two counter bore openings on the same index angle of the machine table. So even though these are different types of operations, uh, using the same tool on the same index side, of uh, you know of this setup, it's going to execute those four operations 
before doing another index. So it's really nice, this new machine awareness capabilities inside of Esprit and the way that it's thinking for you. It's rebuilding all these links, you know, doing this stuff manually or at the machine and checking all that uh, can be very time consuming um, and, you know, potential for, for problems. So uh, the new stuff inside of the Esprit version for the next generation of software is really cool. So when you guys get this version, hopefully you will enjoy it as much as I am. Uh, these are some cool features and hopefully it makes you guys uh, lives a little bit more easy when you are going from single part to multi-part setups. Anyway, enjoy.